do an update uh, for my Smith Wesson m and This has been a ever-evolving uh, firearm here. It's kind of out of necessity. Uh, I just used it as my test bed, as my experiment bed for the stippling and stuff. Um, since the last time that I really featured it, um, I have changed the stippling. Uh, I've, I've brought this up here. I don't know how well you can see there. I think pretty good. Um, definitely changed the stippling some. I, this is actually the largest back strap, the fat one. And this one normally has a beaver tail section that comes up here, and I trimmed it um, because I, I needed the shorter length of pull, but I liked the fat grip. And so I, I just made my own, and uh, that, it worked out real good. At first, I was worried about that little bit of a ledge there, but it actually works out that the web of my hand catches just, just right on there. Um, as you can see, there's a scalp there with me being left-handed. That allows me, in case I do get a double feed, uh, to reach in there and get a good purchase on the magazine. You wouldn't think that, that little bit would make a difference, but it, it does. Um, magazine well has been completely beveled. Um, kind of hard to see here, but either way. Um, you can see the trigger guard. It has been scalped here. I've cut, done an undercut here, and this cut here allows, it's a good witness point for your support hand it makes a very big difference in the overall comfort and feel a lot of people really don't like the way that it looks they think it makes it look you know cheap terrible like it's about to break I assure you it is still strong uh, and I really don't care it works for me and it works well uh, now of course I'm running the apex uh, their full trigger system it's their Ford set sear FSS system comes with a new build aluminum trigger and it runs like it's a Glock style. Um, you can see there it's got the button in the center. This setup with their with Apex's RAM system and RAM is a reset assist mechanism. One of the big complaints with the MMPs is the reset and the trigger. And you can hear there's an audible reset on this. Huh, I'm a dummy. All right, reset. You hear the reset there? And I can feel it. This is running about uh, right at three pound trigger pull. Uh, very, very, very nice system. Uh, you can give this gun with this Apex system in it to any avid 1911 shooter, and they will be very impressed with the trigger on this, uh, and especially considering it's in a polymer pistol. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, I'm running these magazine extensions, uh, Armando, or I, I don't remember what the name is off the top of my head. Um, I'll do a video about these extensions particularly but there's a couple of brands out there you can just search or you can contact me if you're interested and I can get these for you um, they're in the $20 range and they take this 17 round magazine and make it a 22 round magazine so that means with one in the chamber you've got 23 rounds on hand uh, I, I do I stress this if you decide to go with these and you put one of these on and it's going to be a defensive carry pistol you need to run a lot of rounds I mean a lot of rounds run at least 500 to a thousand rounds through each one of these magazines I don't mean collectively I mean each magazine that you do this modification to to make sure that you don't have any issues with hang-ups on both of my magazines whenever I first did the modification if I loaded it all the way to capacity I would rack the first round and uh, more than half the time the follower magazine follower would get caught down here on this lip and all of a sudden 
all my rounds that were up here would just fall out loose. They, were, they had no retention. They weren't being pushed up. They wouldn't chamber. It was just a cluster. My gun was just full of random rounds. So you need to, what I had to do was I actually had to file the bottom lip of this magazine to bevel it. And then um, the Armando, or I like I say, the, the guys, um, they, do, they do a lot of uh, three gun stuff. But anyways, I tell you what, I'll put it in the annotations, uh, the name of this. Uh, but anyways, they sent me new followers. Uh, there, there's actually a base plate that comes up past this. Uh, and it allows the follower to get past it. They sent me new base plates, not followers. And that solved the problem. And I do uh, believe that these are reliable now. Uh, I, I would trust my life to them, uh, but I vetted them. Uh, I had to work through the problems, but now they're a reliable uh, magazine and magazine extension. Um, so anyways, but I am still able to carry, with no more room than that added, I can still carry this tucked in, in with a shirt tucked in, and I can wear this in a church and no one will know. Um, anyways, I had a little bit of complaints on uh, the stipple job on uh, one of my videos, and I believe a lot of that was because this was the way the video was taken, and it looked like it was just a terrible, terrible job because you could get right up on there. <laughs> And I, I looked through it, and, you know, I wanted to find out what was going on there. And I, I, I wish that the uh, person that had complained uh, would write me back. Uh, but either way, uh, this is what's going on with it. Um, there is some different patterns going on here. I, I've, I've run this pattern here. Um, and then this is with a larger uh, tip. And this is just with a smaller one. And kind of how the deal is, is this stuff here is a lot more grippy, if that's a word. This, um, I don't, I didn't want something that's going to chew up the inside palm of my hand. And then this pattern here, for, on this application, it's more for decoration than anything. Um, I do a variant of that. You can see in one of my videos on, uh, it's a, a 380, Ruger 380. Uh, and this is a real good pattern for a concealed carry gun that's going to go in a pocket because it does not catch lint. This stuff here will catch lint. The frog lube that I have on here helps repel the lint, but still it will lint up. you got to brush it out with a wire brush every once in a while. But either way, um, that's my setup. Uh, I'm running an XX uh, tritium dot sight. It's not the big dot. And then it's a factory rear sight that I have put uh, notch in it for cocking on your belt or heel or whatever and uh, setup works pretty good I'm probably gonna go with a company called Speed Sights as soon as they come out with something for the MP uh, they their sights are actually three diamonds instead of the dots uh, I like the concept really well um, it seems like it's more than just another gimmick um, of course I'll be getting those as soon as they come out they already offer them for some SIGs Glock, uh, and I think XD is probably going to be the next thing they come out with. Uh, but either way, you can check them out. Uh, Speedsites.com, I believe it is. And uh, so, anyways, that's my Smith and Wesson MMP 9 millimeter And I just wanted to do another video on it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if uh, any of you all are interested in any of this work, anything's been done to it, or any of the other videos that you see, any of the products that you see. You can contact me. Um, the email address is in the starting role. Um, and uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, do business with you. Thank you.